What I found so distressing about that briefing was that one of the messages we received from the briefers was do not debate, do not discuss the issue of the appropriateness of further military intervention against Iran. And that if you do, you'll be emboldening Iran. The implication being that we would somehow be making America less safe by having a debate or a discussion about the appropriateness of further military involvement against the government of Iran. I find it insulting and I find it demeaning to the Constitution of the United States to which we've all sworn an oath. But one of the arguments that's been bandied about in public I think is particularly insulting. It is not acceptable for officials within the executive branch of government. I don't care whether they're with the CIA, with the Department of Defense, or, or otherwise. It is, after all, the prerogative of the legislative branch to declare war. Article 1, Section 8 makes that very clear. The argument has been made that the use of authorization of force voted on in 2002 to go to war with Saddam Hussein and his government is justification for anything they want to do in Iraq today, including killing an Iranian general. I see no way in the world you could logically argue that an authorization to have war with Saddam Hussein has anything to do with having war with people currently in Iraq. When we send our brave soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines into harm's way, we owe the American people the decent courtesy to follow the Constitution, to debate and discuss these actions. I think we need to have a debate about the separation of powers. I also want to make clear that I walked into that briefing undecided as to whether to support the resolution under the War Powers Act introduced by Senator Kane. Now, Senator Kane and I have had some discussions. He's agreed to make some changes. And I can say that after that briefing, I'm now going to support it. I walked into the briefing undecided. I walked out decided, specifically because of what happened in that briefing. Many have written that Congress has abdicated their duty. Today, this is Senator Lee and I stepping up and saying, we are not abdicating our duty. Our duty under the Constitution is for us to debate when we go to war, and we, for, for one, are not going to abdicate that duty.